Hey guys, so this is going to be a Ross and Marshalls haul. I also have one item from a little boutique called London Fox. I've actually mentioned that boutique in previous videos. Ignore my nails while I'm showing you guys the items. I actually just took off the OPI chocolate brown almost black nail polish. It was actually peeling off my nails and I'm getting a set of acrylics and when I'm wearing a dark color, I like to take it off myself because see how there's the dark color like, you know, in the corners of my nails. Sometimes who depending upon who does my nails, they'll leave that there. So I need to finish getting that off. So the first items that I'm going to show you guys, I thought were a really good deal. So the first one is this perfume. It's Taylor by Taylor Swift. It's 0.5 ounces. So obviously it's not the largest perfume, but the bottle's really pretty. And you guys, it was $4.99 from Ross. I thought that was a great deal. At Christmas time, they put out these little perfumes, and they're even sometimes a little bit smaller, and they sell them for $12 to $15. So this is getting put aside for Christmas. That was from Ross. This one was also from Ross. This is the Taylor Swift Incredible Things, 0.5 ounces for $4.99. The bottle on this one is also really pretty. And then it was just a coincidence, you guys. I went to Marshall's, and they also had small bottles in this size of different perfumes for $4.99 as well. So I got the Wonderstruck by Taylor Swift at Marshall's. You can see... You can see the Marshalls tag. It says $4.99. So it was just a coincidence that I happened to get all of them in Taylor Swift. They had other types of perfumes. They had BB at Marshalls, the Sideways Heart, which I already own that one, and it wasn't my favorite. It's the Sideways Heart, and it has the little silver charm on it. So they had that one in 0.5 ounces for $4.99. They had the Justin Bieber Girlfriend, the Justin Bieber Key, which I already own those as well, but I just decided to get these ones. So these are all getting put aside for Christmas. I kind of wish that I maybe would have gotten six of them. So when I go back, if they have any more at either Marshalls or Ross, I'm going to get a couple more, but probably not in the Taylor Swift unless I find the Wonderstruck because I do like that. So definitely keep your eyes peeled for these, you guys, those are great Christmas gifts. The next item that I'm going to show you guys is, of course, a coffee mug. It says, all I want is to sip my coffee and pet my cat. It's in a metallic gold, but the gold is kind of being washed out by my light. And then look how cute, you guys. The inside is in this mint green with the metallic gold kitty paws around the parameter of the cup. This was $4.99 from Marshalls. It has the cute little gift tag with the kitties on it. When you flip it around, it's got the spot to fill in the to and from. This is in the 10 Strawberry Street brand. It says, do not microwave. And the reason it says that is because if a bowl or a cup has this metallic writing or design on it, it will possibly ruin your microwave. You'll see it start zapping and it could catch on fire. So when you guys buy mugs or dishes, make sure you're paying attention to whether or not they're microwave safe. Then I got this. Oh, and this isn't for me. This is for my aunt. It's her birthday today. She is the typical crazy cat lady. She has six cats and she's been obsessed with cats since before I was even born. They did have one cat mug that was black and it was in the shape of a cat cat head then they had one that said crazy cat lady and I had that one in my cart originally but this one sold me and was the tiebreaker because I thought the inside was so cute so then I got this one for myself and this one says Shh, I haven't had my coffee yet it's also in the metallic gold so this one's not going to go in the microwave this one was from Ross for $3.99 you guys know that I like the larger coffee mugs, so this is perfect for me. I love getting coffee mugs at Ross. I think they have unique coffee mugs. Marshall's does as well, but just being honest, I don't go into Marshall's a whole lot. I prefer Burlington Coat Factory over Marshall's, but I didn't want to backtrack, and I was looking to get a new purse at the time, so I don't go into Marshall's a whole lot. 
The next item that I got was from Marshalls, and I thought it was an awesome deal, you guys. This is the Calvin Klein Beauty Perfume. It's 1.7 ounces, so it's a fairly large perfume, and this was $19.99, you guys. So, I had actually been turned on to this perfume by Jordan's mom. She bought me this bottle last Christmas. As you can see, it's completely empty. There's like maybe three little spritzes left in the bottom. This one lasted me all the way from last Christmas up until about two to three weeks ago. And I would always tell her, you smell so good. She would go to a full shift at work, like 8 to 12 hour day. She's a nurse. She would still smell really good when she got home. And it was this Calvin Klein Beauty. So she surprised me with the smaller bottle at Christmas. And she paid like $50 or $55 for this at Kohl's. So when I found the $1.7 for $19.99, I was like, heck to the yeah, I'm getting that. Especially since this one is done. So that's the 1.7 in comparison to the 1.0 ounce. So they did have this size for $16.99 at Marshalls as well, but I thought why not pay a couple more dollars and get this large size. Jordan's mom was like, you should have picked me one up. I would have gave you the money. And I was like, I honestly didn't even think about it, so I felt kind of bad. So anyways... Marshalls, $19.99. I used to get my perfumes from Macy's and the Perfume Corner, but now, you guys, I get the bulk of my perfumes from Ross. They have all of the name brand designers. They have, like, Coach, you know, Poppy Coach. They have Jimmy Choo. All of the designer ones, even down to celebrities, that, perfumes you can get at Target for, like, 60 to 70% off of the original price that you would pay at, like, Macy's or something like that. I have a picture on my Instagram of part of my perfume cabinet, and it doesn't have the picture of the bottom part of it, but I am a complete perfume junkie, and I would say that probably 85% of the perfumes in the cabinet on the picture are from Ross, and they were completely discounted and awesome prices. So, I got that perfume. Once again, Marshalls, $19.99. The next item that I got, and I know I've been kind of repetitive and repeating myself with the prices, but I will say the price, you know, multiple times or where I got it, and then someone will comment and ask me. So the next item is this storage basket, and I thought this one was really nice, and I thought the price was really great. That's another great thing about Ross. If you're looking for any type of storage baskets, storage containers, laundry baskets, I basically will vouch for everything in Ross, but I'm just saying Ross is a great place to go. This basket is a fairly larger storage basket, and it was only $4.99, you guys. So there is the price. It says compare at $8. My son's room is done in gray and black. He's a Raiders fan. I have to clarify, I'm not a Raiders fan, I'm a Niners fan, but this is going to go perfect on his desk for all of his electronics, like his remote, his headphones. Not everything will fit in there, but I think it will look a lot nice, a lot more neat and organized with this, and it's going to match his room perfectly. I actually was looking at black curtains for his bedroom window because he used to have black curtains up there, but they got ripped down because they touched his bed. And we have like a bed skirt or something up there right now, just temporarily. So I was looking at curtains and they did have black ones, but they were the sheer ones. And I want the ones that are thick, heavy duty black. So I'm going to be getting that for his room. And then I'm also going to be getting a new rug. He's going to be getting a new bed. So I'm just kind of starting to get some of the new things for his bedroom. So once again, Ross $3.99. And this little piece of fabric can actually come out. It's got the elastic and then it's got this little bow, but I prefer that to stay in there. So I got that. Let me see. So the last item that I have to show you guys is actually from the little boutique called London Fox. Let me back up a little bit. And I had went yesterday because you guys, it's been a couple of months since I've treated myself to a new purse. I don't particularly like to buy super expensive purses. If I do, I'll buy an expensive purse and I will save that purse and I won't use it like all the time, but I'll save it. I get purses from like Charming Charlie's. Mainly I go to London Fox and I spend about 40 to like $50 on a purse and I get a new one every couple of months, like maybe every three months. 
because it's been about, I want to say, almost five months since I got a new purse, I was like, it is definitely time for a new one. My Michael Kors one that I started carrying around, I actually got one at Walmart, but it was kind of small. It's still in good condition, but near the zipper, it's a little bit, like, tearing a little bit. So, I actually went to London Fox yesterday. I picked out a really pretty purse. I ended up taking it back at the end of the day and swapping it out for this purse. So, this is actually a, a tote style purse, as you can see. And there's another purse that they put on back order for me. It is, I can't even describe it to you. You guys are just going to have to wait until I get it and show you. It is so stinking cute. It's got this shiny material on it. And, like, I usually would hate this shiny material when you see a purse that's completely shiny like that. But it is just so cute. It's got a giant bow that's shiny like this. It's got a big strip of bling. And it's just really cute. So, the first purse that I got was, I mean, just beautiful. And... This color, this is the infinity scarf that I got from 99 cent only. This was the color of the first purse that I got. I've always loved this color, you guys. My mom knows I've always loved this color. I used to have this color in my room when I was in junior high and high school. I had my bed spread in this color. I had actually painted one of my, actually two of my bedrooms in this color, like a burgundy plum color. Well, now this color is getting really popular lately for, you know, the new upcoming fall season so I had picked out a purse in this color like I said and it had these gorgeous square they weren't exactly like diamond rhinestones but they were these shiny kind of dark charcoal gray squares that were really blingy looking and they were all over the front with this color but they were sewn on like they had little pieces of string on each side sewing them on and with me I was like you know what this purse is beautiful but these little you know, charms or whatever are going to come off so easy. And the normal bling company that London Fox goes through, they're usually really durable and they include extras inside a little baggie in the purse. This particular purse was not from their regular bling company, so there were no extra ones. So like I said, I went through that whole story for you guys just to tell you that I went back and got this one, but I have the other one on back order, which I should be getting next week. I will show that one to you as well. So this is a tote style purse. It's got the kind of um, sewn, you know, you can see the little sewn look on it and it's kind of in a chevron or a V print. And then I love this. It's got this gold bar right here and then it's got the little diamonds on there, or rhinestones with the gold beads. It's got the short handles. And one thing that I always look for when I buy a purse is that it has a long strap as well. Because yes, I do carry the purse like this but I also a lot of times if I'm shopping and I don't want to be holding it on my arm I'll put the long strap over my shoulder so the bottom has the four little studs to hold it up oh my gosh you just saw my reflection in the bottom of this purse and I'm in a t-shirt so hopefully you couldn't see me in the t-shirt the inside is in this leopard you guys know I love leopard I thought that was really cute I love this color for fall I think this is perfect for fall and then it's got on the inside so it's a zipper on top I love the zipper purses because if your purse gets knocked over everything's not gonna fall over I've had tons of purses that just either snap with a button or they have like a little latch and then your stuff can get stolen a lot easier or it can fall out so on the inside it's got the zipper in the middle which most purses do and then look it's got that shiny pretty kind of taupey brown color it's got this section it's got the little you know most purses have the little section and then it's got a bigger one wait let me see or does that only have one I can't see with holding the camera then it's got this side right here and then it's got this uh, zipper right there little compartment here is the strap and then I love it because the strap is in this shiny taupey brown metallic color which I love and then when you turn the purse around it looks like this it's got the shiny on it and it's got the zipper on the back so you can store more stuff in it and I love purses oh my gosh you guys I'm so sorry it's like hard to do this with one hand the little tab is like in there okay so the inside of that compartment is leopard as well so I'm just in love with this purse and look how inexpensive this purse was you guys.
me just show you the price tag. $39. That is awesome. They were having a big sale, no sales tax, which they've done that quite a few times. I've been going to this boutique for, I want to say about 13 to 14 years, you guys. So that's the last item that I got at London Fox. I really hope that I can talk to her at some point, the owner, and ask her if I can do a walkthrough just to show you how unique this little boutique is. And they have the cutest, I mean the cutest stuff. If I had to go somewhere for someone that was super girly and liked bling and just all that type of stuff and I had to get them a gift, I will always go to London Fox. And they have so much cute like home decor stuff in there, but a lot of it is just display. So they get people, including myself, asking like, oh, how much is this? It's not for sale. They find the cutest stuff. And then I've also, you guys, got a lot of my Marilyn Monroe pictures from there. There is this one outside that I'm going to go back for. It is a larger Marilyn Monroe picture. It's got James Dean, Marilyn Monroe, and Elvis. It's got the old phone booth, you know, that would be on the corners. And I don't know if it's James Dean and Marilyn Monroe inside the photo booth and then Elvis on the outside. And there's like an old street sign, like the vintage street sign. And it's just really pretty. It's super huge and it's only $42. So I want to go back when I get my next check for the purse that's on back order and that picture. So Anyways, I've done quite a bit of talking and I will let you guys go if any of you guys have even stuck with me to the end of the video. If any of you guys are still here and you're at the end of the video, leave a comment and just say I'm still here or I stuck with you. I just want to see how many of you guys actually stay and listen to me jabbering all the way until the end. So I hope you guys are having a fabulous weekend thus far and I will see you guys in my next video. Oh yeah, one more thing. You're probably like, oh my gosh. So I'm going to put like a purse pom-pom on there. And this was the one I got from Target Dollar Spot. So if you're still with me, let me know. Do you think this one should go on there? This purse pom-pom. I have this, which I kind of am not really liking this one with it too much. There's this one. I don't know. So there's that one, the tassel that I can put on there. There's this one, which was actually from Walmart. This one was actually on my Michael Kors purse, but I took it off, so it's just a black pom-pom that can go on there somewhere. There are these ones from the Dollar Tree, these little purse pom-poms, the little leopard one. There's this one is, no, it's not going to go on there. I'm just showing you. There's that one, which I would not put that one on there. And then there's this one. So this looks the same as this other Dollar Tree one I just showed you, but it's not. They're two different leopard colors. So then there's that one, that purse pom-pom. I kind of was leaning towards this one. I thought this one would be really cute on there somewhere. And I have this gorgeous crown keychain. It's super blingy. And I would love to put that one on my purse. I just can't find it. I don't know what I did with it, you guys. It's still brand new, and it is gorgeous, super blingy, and it's a queen crown, and I would love to somehow put that clipped onto my purse. I just need to find it. So, anyways, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.